For developers, what is their biggest concern when facing a new concept or technology? I believe most people would say the change in work habits, because habits often represent efficiency. For example, if you were originally using Jenkins and I had to switch to a new platform that doesn't support Jenkins, you would certainly feel very uncomfortable and even have some instinctive resistance to the change. This is also a problem that SAE values very much in its design process. We hope that SAE is a low threshold product that allows users to migrate smoothly without having to change their original work habits. Hello, and welcome to this episode of Cloud Forward. Today, we would like to talk about SAE's support for commonly used tool chains. First, let's take a look at the Maven plugin and Jenkins. Maven is certainly not an unfamiliar name to Java developers. SAE has developed a Maven plugin for users of the Java language. By simply adding the dependency of this plugin and configuring some identity information, after a successful package, it can trigger deployment to SAE. Of course, it can also be combined with Jenkins to achieve automated CI CD. This is very user friendly for most Java developers. However, you may also need to do some fine grained permission control. And we have detailed documentation on this aspect for your reference. For users who don't use Java languages, SAE has also developed targeted Jenkins plugins by configuring a few core parameters such as namespace, application, region, image or code package address, you can deploy to SAE through Jenkins, which is very convenient. For Terraform, many people may feel unfamiliar, while many others are already using it extensively. The core concept represented by Terraform is ACK which stands for infrastructure as code. This means that infrastructure such as computing, networking, and storage resources is represented as code. In the past, people usually operated through the console, but the console method has many problems, such as being difficult to replicate, trace, and collaborate, especially for large applications and environments where efficiency can be very low. So ACK is to describe the creation and changes of these infrastructure resources through code. With Git management, it can achieve replicability, traceability, and easy collaboration. SAE also has good support for Terraform. The next tool is Alibaba Cloud DevOps, which is a one-stop biz DevOps platform from Alibaba Cloud. It goes beyond the previous single tools and is complete DevOps platform that includes project collaboration, code management, pipelines, knowledge base, test management, and more. When integrating with SAE, the main part is in the pipeline, where you can easily configure a pipeline to build and upload Java applications to SAE for deployment. It is mostly done through a user-friendly console with simple operations making it easy to use. Finally, let's introduce the IDE plugin, which is Alibaba Cloud Toolkit. It has very rich features such as end-to-end -end cloud connectivity, we all know that the microservices will have many applications. If we need to debug locally, sometimes we need to start all services, which is very cumbersome and sometimes impossible. With end-to-end -end cloud connectivity, we can directly connect to the cloud environment such as SAE microservices. Today, we introduced SAE's rich tool chain, which will match your original work habits as much as possible and lower the threshold for using SAE. In addition to what I've talked about, there are also various tools like SAE's Open API, CLI, and more waiting for you to explore. If you are keen to know more about Alibaba Cloud's serverless app engine, click in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos of Cloud Forward in the future. Until next time.